In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a couple of fresh Blender add-ons that I'm positive many of you will find useful, including add-ons for rigging, modeling, adding imperfections, user interface add-ons, and more. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with Trace Genius, which is a tool specifically designed to help you trace 2D images and extract sweet and juicy 3D meshes out of them. From what I can see, this add-on can be handy for designers or anyone working on logo modeling or animations, in addition to maybe concept art and even 3D printing. What makes this add-on interesting is that it doesn't just offer you the option to convert 2D images into 3D shapes, but it takes it to another level by offering you a number of features to fine-tune your effect. For instance, you can easily add outlines of your selected shapes, as well as the ability to invert your image selection which introduce extra possibilities for you to play around with. Another notable feature that enhances this tool is its ability to refine extracted shapes using color and brightness threshold. Also, it comes with a tool that lets you separate individual parts of your 3D model after the mesh was generated. But this is not everything, because Trace Genius lets you extrude and bevel your extracted shapes for a fully automated process and we can't forget that it uses an advanced algorithm to clean up your nasty geometry, which can be useful. And maybe in the future, this tool is gonna be even better with future updates. Talking about updates, we have an update for one-click damage with version 2.0, making it even more valuable. If you are not familiar with the LCD add-on, let me tell you about it. It is all about adding imperfections in the form of cracks and damages to make your 3D models look realistic. You can use it on multiple meshes at the same time. And you can also quickly toggle between different patterns by simply hitting a button to switch from different noise types like clouds and musgrave. And the latest 2.0 update of this add-on came up with a new hero module, which is a solution for adding extra micro details onto any object by utilizing the power of geometry nodes, which is common these days. And using this new module, gives you a lot of different possibilities by offering you a great deal of customization since you can use multiple geometry node setups and simply change their values to get something different. You can choose to add more details, copy and paste the effect to other objects, change the relative scale, and use the adaptability slide to decrease the density of your mesh. And you can even generate custom masks to use in the shader editor. But we are only scratching the surface with this add-on. So if you want to dive deeper, you can check the documentation and see what you can do with it. And before we continue, I would like to tell you about Skillshare. One of the most lucrative tools any 3D artist should be familiar with is Unreal Engine. Whether you are an interior designer, architect, VFX artist, or motion graphics artist, or even a game developer, you need to incorporate Unreal Engine into your production, otherwise you are truly missing out. And what better resource to learn Unreal other than the biggest learning community on the web, with countless classes on any subject or profession like photography, design, illustration, video editing, animation, and so much more. If you feel anxious about picking up a new skill, Skillshare introduced a new category called Learning Path. These paths allow you to follow a series of hand-picked and specifically curated classes that all center around mastering a specific skill or software allowing you to know exactly what you're getting into and what you stand to achieve at the end. For me, I think Unreal Engine 5 visual production is hands down the best when it comes to Unreal Engine 5 for virtual production. I found this class interesting and I learned a lot like facial motion capture and how to use virtual cameras which can be really useful for different projects. But you don't have to take this specific class. There are hundreds of classes and a ton of learning paths for you to pick. And the first 500 people to click the link in the description will get a 30-day free trial of Skillshare. Moving on to the next add-on, which is simply called Simply Fast, from the developer of Simply Cloth. From what I can see, this add-on provides a collection of shortcuts and tools specifically designed for mesh editing and rigging tasks. So, it works by grouping all these features under one compact interface, making the entire process easy and accessible. In addition, 
there is a pop-up panel that appears near the mouse cursor when you press F1 or mouse 5. And if you don't know what mouse 5 is, it is those buttons you can find on the left side of your mouse, which are called mouse 4 and mouse 5. This was just a side note for those old school mouse users who don't use mouses with buttons on the side or on the left. Just saying. So this offers quick access to some functionalities that can be something that interests you. And what I think is interesting about this add-on is that the interface adapts based on the type of object that you're working with and its current editing mode, which I think ensures that you have the right tools at your fingertips for meshes, armature, lights and cameras and different things, depending on the most tools that you're working with. Now let me give you an idea of the shortcuts and menus that you will get access to when using this add-on. Firstly, for the object mode, you get the object properties tab containing shortcuts for shading smooth and flat, material properties, and object transform operations. Also, the fast tools menu offers options for mirroring objects, fast rotation, hardening objects, and more. Furthermore, the object tools let you apply and remove modifiers, remove materials from selected objects, nuke materials, and much more. And for the edit mode, you can set bevel weight, select beveled edges, subdivide and unsubdivide, shear, bridge, shrink, flatten, and more. So now that you have an idea of how it works, you will find similar shortcuts and menus available for armatures, light, and cameras, which will significantly boost your productivity by basically eliminating the need to search for each command or tool individually. Before we continue, I want to let you guys know that I recorded this video over two days. The morning of the second day, I lost my voice because I'm a little bit sick, so please bear with me and I hope this is not too annoying. The next add-on is gonna be Easy Envelope. The add-on can help you with weight painting inside Blender. For starters, I think it can be an alternative to the automatic weight painting algorithms. So Envelope Weight Binding defines a cylinder-shaped envelope range for each bone which is ideal for complex meshes like multi-layer clothing. With this add-on, you are not just binding bones, but you are sculpting weight envelopes with precision by customizing the range of each bone's influence, all while visualizing the changes in real time, which is interesting. But this is not everything. The Easy Envelope add-on is packed with some handy tools and key features that I need to tell you about. For instance, you can fine-tune weight distribution with gradient curve adjustments, which I think can help with smooth transitions between bones. Also, it offers different algorithms that are available for different mesh types, which can provide you with good results for different scenarios and use cases. Another set of tools that I need to tell you about can be found and used in the edit mode. And these tools enable easy selection and management of vertices with deform weights. Finally, you can select the deformed bone of chosen vertices really fast and also save meshes as envelope files for future use, allowing for easy reuse of settings and configurations. The next add-on is called EasyWake, which can be an interesting tool for making dynamic ocean simulations within Blender. From what I can see, basically it helps you with ocean scenes with realistic ship wakes. To use the add-on, click on the Add Dynamic Ocean button and watch as beautiful ocean with realistic ground textures appear in front of you. Next, select your ship model and click Draw Ship Path to easily create a curve that will animate your ship's movement across the water. And once your path is all set, just hit play to see your ship come to life as it moves through the dynamic waves all while following the custom curve you create. This add-on also allows you to fine-tune your simulation with a range of ocean and simulation parameters which gives you a good deal of control over the look and feel of your scene. So these settings will let you adjust the time, depth, size, spatial size, wave scale, choppiness, and even wind velocity. So using these parameters will make it possible for you to achieve various ocean results, whether you are aiming for a calm sea or a stormy voyage. Last but not least is the Lattice Mirror which is a Blender add-on designed to simplify the process of editing lattice points. With Lattice Mirror, you can perform real-time lattice points mirroring alongside a specialized axis, which kind of simplifies the complex task of editing and speeds up your workflow. In addition, it provides a dynamic mirroring, which enables you to start or stop mirroring with ease as you move your lattice points. 
To use the lattice mirror, all you have to do is access the sidebar, navigate to item, and find the lattice mirror panel. From there, you can choose the desired mirroring axis, whether it be X, Y, or Z, and press Start Mirror. Then select the lattice points you wish to mirror and begin editing, and watch as the points will mirror along the selected axis in real time. However, there is a limitation. Editing multiple points across multiple lattices simultaneously may not function as expected, so you might want to keep an eye on that one. So guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Also subscribe while you are at it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.